I've been workshopping a new joke too. I watched uh, Jay watch a bunch of Kitchen Nightmares this weekend. So I've been working on a, a, a joke and this is called someone, uh, this is my impression of somebody from Illinois, but not from Chicago, that's mad about how long it's taking uh, food to come out of the restaurant they go to. It's been 45 minutes, where's my salad? <laughs> that's not good at all. Where's my salad? They be saying salad, 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 salad. Why is it, you know what I mean? We're, we're, it is coming out as two New Zealand, for sure. Like, where's my salad? It's the same guy who in his, uh, he got accused by Gordon Ramsay of being uh, not alpha enough to be a restaurant owner. And then uh, one of his servers comes to him and says, I gotta tell you something, you're a coward and your chef should be fired. And then the owner says, don't forget who's your boss. If you have a problem with the way that I run this restaurant, then you can just keep your comments to yourself. Classic line. I didn't care for the dressing on my salad. It's just a salad. There we go, we're getting there. It's just a salad. The way you said yucky is actually the way you should say gnocchi. Yeah, here's my impression of someone from Illinois, but not Chicago, ordering uh, food at a restaurant. My wife will have the tenderloin cooked medium well, and I'll take the gnocchi. By the way, where's our salad? We've been waiting 45 minutes for our salad. For our salad. It's just a salad. It's getting a little better. Am I crazy? I feel like it's getting a little better. I'll wait 20 minutes for a gnocchi. I'll wait 20 minutes for my gnocchi. But can, you, can we get a rush on the salad? Can we get a rush on the salad? The salad. I'd like a big... I'll have the gnocchi and my wife will have a big salad. And could she add chicken to that? It's how much? Okay, forget the chicken. Hold the chicken, bring the salad. The salad. The salad. Sorry, I'm working on it. <laughs> I'll take the tagliatelle. My wife will have the gnocchi and we'll share a Caesar salad. Can you put a rush on the Caesar salad, please? I think I'm getting it. Here's my impression of, uh, <laughs> please stop with the impression bits. <clears throat> Here's my impression of someone going to, um, a bakery in Vancouver. Hi, can I get a healthy muffin that tastes like shit? Sorry, doesn't even make any sense, really. No, I don't want a salad. I don't want a chocolate chip muffin. That's 700 calories. Can I get a 680 calorie uh, pumpkin flax muffin, please, instead? I'm trying to watch what I eat. Can I get a 600 calorie pumpkin flax? I don't want the chocolate chip. It's bad for you. Let me get a let me get a 703 calorie bran oatmeal uh, muffin and put a rush on the salad. We've been waiting so long for our salad. What is he talking about? <laughs> so true. So true. What is he talking about? Your Midwestern accent is pretty off. That's what I'm trying to work on. Because you, you, like California, bro. Whoa, California accent is like so easy. Literally anybody could do it. So true, bro. And then New York, you just go, hey, I'm walking here. Hey, a pepperoni pizza, I'm walking here. And then Minnesota, you just sort of go Canadian and then bring it back a little bit. You just, yeah, yeah just a little, a li like an American Canada, you know? And then that whole Midwestern part I'm trying to get, and I'm trying to get it. You don't have to bring anything big. You could just bring like a salad. You could just build. We're already, Toby's already bringing the meat. You could just bring like a pasta salad. I'm, <laughs> I'm still, <laughs> I know it's to New Zealand, okay? I'm trying. You don't have to bring anything too big. That's Shrek. That's Shrek. Okay, let's roll. Let's roll again. Just a, just like a, just like a potato salad. You gotta add a Y before an before an A in your Midwestern words. Okay, like salad. <laughs> that can't be right. Yeah, I'll get a Caesar salad. Is that that's it? That's all you needed. You don't have to bring anything big. Just like a Caesar salad or something. That's, that's, that's the greatest tip I've ever been given in my whole life. Yeah, Tammy's bringing the meats. You could just bring like a piece de salad. It's approaching perfect Minnesota. <laughs> oh, dude. That's good. That's some good stuff. Yeah, I was going to go golfing this weekend, but it's too damn hot. It's too damn hot outside. Nah, not on the O. Not on the O. I decided, you know what? You know what I have decided? I decided to go with the Camaro. I decided to go with the, you know, at the end of the, I was going to get the Mustang. I decided, you know what, John? Live a little. Get yourself the, 
The Chevy Camaro is <laughs> switching into like a gangster. Starting to sound a little bit like Al Capone. Like Al Capone. Starting to sound a little bit like 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 the Chicago typewriter. Starting to sound a little bit like a baby voice too. The Canadian accent is just, I mean, that's a... I don't even feel good doing it because it's so easy to do. Because it's like my voice. <laughs> do Newfoundland then? No, I think... Even though Newfoundland is part of Canada, I think I could be canceled for doing a Newfoundland accent. Also, even if you... Like, it's English, but I don't know how to say it. Like, even though it's English, it doesn't... Um, it's not, <laughs> I guess is what I'm trying to say. <laughs> it's like Scottish Canadian. Yeah, 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 that's a good way to describe it. Sips is pretty Canadian, but he's like Ontario Canadian. So I go down to the fucking Tim Hortons and they're all out of Timbits. How the fuck does a Tim Hortons run out of Timbits, bud? It's the only fucking good thing you sell down there. If I don't know I want a coffee, if I wanted a coffee, I would have gone to McDonald's. This got a little Massachusetts there for a second, but what am I doing? <laughs> Sibs does say right sometimes. I was right there. That's, that's, that's super punch out now. Right on. That was Irish? Well, it's like Canadian accent is like a, it's a, it's like a little English, French, Irish, Scottish mixed with the American Southern like hillbilly type accent. And I'm, I'm not saying that to be offensive. I think it's actually just... That's like the linguistic origin of the Canadian accent. Finally got rid of it on round 10. Isn't that the name of like an, a, an adult entertainment center? Round 10? Round 10? Do they serve salad there? <laughs> I know it's a little bit like a top golf. Do they have a good Caesar salad? No? What is this? It's all garbage. It's all garbage. Can you take out the garbage? <laughs> It's Monday tomorrow. Just wondering if you could take out the garbage. Top golf. Top, top golf. I was down at top golf the other day. And does that come with rice? Or should we order an extra rice? Minus 90? You can't minus... Well, I guess I have done it 45 times. So that's fair, I guess. Good point. I don't know what I'm doing with a seal on this team. How do I have seven wins? That's so fucked up. <laughs> I have no memory of what's happened on this run up to this point. Big Leech was kind of going off. I don't know. Now that's becoming my real voice. This is not this is not even close to makeable. Okay. Still, you know what? Considering that I have no memory of um, making any decisions on that run, that seems pretty good. We'll go nine on that one. I'd like to apologize to the YouTube viewers. I keep skipping. He keeps talking about salad. Why did he drop his New York accent? Now he's just talking like a normal guy. He's obsessed with Caesar salad. Yeah, that McDonald's coffee messed me up this morning. I mean, I, I'm a one coffee a day sort of guy. That was coffee too. I used to have like uh, like three coffees a day on an average day. For two to... <laughs> don't say coffee. Yeah, can I get a black coffee? Just take a black coffee, please. Yeah, to go. I'm in the drive-thru. You think I was gonna park my car? Come inside and drink it? How often do you go to McDonald's? Okay, so like, you caught me on a weird week. You've met me at a very strange time in my life. You, yeah. <laughs> Tyler Durden. You met me at a very strange time in my life. What? Here's, here's my impression of, of, here's my impression of Tyler Durden from Fight Club. <clears throat> if he was from, uh, if he was from, <clears throat> um, if he, <laughs> sorry, <laughs> here's my, okay, uh, anyway, like, usually, not that often, this week, that was the second time I had been to McDonald's, but once was legitimately just to get my daughter a happy meal, so my, my parents were here, they wanted to get my daughter a happy meal, get one of those grandparent moments. And then the other time was because I was like, my parents made good money, they're just cheap, which is honestly kind of based, because now they're in a great position for retirement. Yup, yeah, really part of the upper middle class, upper, upper middle class, the upper middle class. Joe, Joe, if you don't want to be a one-term Andy, we <laughs> what's, what are we doing about the disappearing upper middle class? I can't stop doing the voice. I, I know I gotta stop, I can't stop. It's like an intrusive thought now. Even just 
Every once in a while, I'll just say a word like intrusive, and I'm like, that'd be perfect. That would be perfect. It's rattling around the old cage right now. I'm, I'm keeping the beast at bay. Good use of sussy. It's just a word, just a normal word in my vocabulary. Wait, this guy's named Nando Suss. Suss, I don't know why I said it like that. This guy's named Nando Suss. We'll draw again. Is this is the same guy. Roll me. I mean, we're getting a little desperate. A little, getting a little desperate. It works. G G jellyfish me every day you're not playing rumbleverse the skill gap gets bigger yep um that's why i'm not going back why would i go back now the skill gap is too big quiet quitting excuse me there was no there was nothing quiet about it it was very loud quitting the only reason it seems quiet is because like every day there's still people that are like, wait, why no Rumbleverse today? And then everybody's like, does he know? Do they know? Catch him, catch him, gotta catch him all. Gotta catch him all. You know what I'm talking about? The end bumper from a cartoon 22 years ago. Yeah, that's committed to memory. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That one's really locked, it's really locked up in there. Could use some Pikachu. What you got there on your little Nintendo? Is that a Super Nintendo or is it just a regular Nintendo? I'm dead. No, we're drawing. He stops a bit. <laughs> Throw in the damn towel. No way Gassy Jack's a real guy. Yeah, he's like a real guy. He's part of like the formation of Vancouver. He's pretty important in the overall civic story. But also, um, I don't know, like marry a 12 year old or something like that. Like he's pretty canceled, but he has also been dead for like 160 years or something like that. But gas, yeah, he was a little gassy. That's why it's called Gas Town. When the moon hits your eye like a big pizza pie, that's a mole or whatever. That's true. When you're a str people are strange when you're a strange when you're a stranger yeah I, sh I, sh I suppose when you're a stranger I, I guess we won we got 10 wins I don't I'm kind of I'm kind of confused but there you go the sanest 10 piece in history just dropped